Hi everyone, I wanted to show my design team project for craft tangles for this month. I will link the two paper packs that I used below. I also used their foils and their adhesive paper. So all of those will be linked below and more details will be explained on my blog. So if you'd like to see more still photos of the project itself and the details of the products used, please feel free to visit my blog below. So this is the cover. It's a traveler's notebook style binding that I did on this. Um, I used some We Are Memory Keepers wide eyelets for the closure and then some American Crafts ribbon for the closure just to tie it shut. I just used some wooden beads that I found as little ephemera to go on the sides off of the tags, um, as well as some ribbon on the sides, and then fibers from all the other tags and other ribbons from other embellishments on the inside stick out on the edges. So the idea of this book is it's, a, um, it's going to be a book that I'm going to have several friends sign for this little girl that's been in the hospital with multiple brain tumors. So in here we're going to include photos of her friends and family and then next to those photos everyone will write a message. So there's a lot of areas in here that are available for journaling. Now first let me show you how I did the spine. I did five holes here and this was new for me because I've never really made like a signature binding system before. So I just wanted to give you a tip that I saw on some book binding websites as well as videos that helped me a lot if you decide you want to make one similar. So they all recommended that you cut a piece of paper that is the length of your book. This is a easy um, no measure way of putting holes evenly on your spine. So then the only part you might want to measure is your half an inch from the top fold down and your half an inch from, a bot from the bottom and fold down. Now after you folded those two ends, fold it together in half. So you're leaving these tabs folded down, fold that in half. Then take that top piece and fold it down in half to meet this line right here. And then you do the same, flip it over, do the same thing, take this edge and flip it down to meet this edge here. Then you kind of have this accordion and at each of those cross points where your lines meet, that is where your hole will go. I also folded it in half long ways. So this strip is about, um, I don't know if this was an inch and a half or two inches, whatever is easiest for you to, to feel. And then I just evenly punched out the holes with my We Are Memory Keepers punch. Then I had my pages and my book separate. So I took my book, the, the cover itself, after I laminated it, and I just covered it with this. I opened it flat and punched my holes. The signature I had stapled together with one staple. Then I went back and took the entire signature of all the pages stacked together, put this in the middle, and punched out those holes. Then I was able to just weave in my twine, and there I have my signature. So I hope that helps some of you out who've been contemplating making a signature yourself. And you can put multiple signatures in those larger journals if you're wanting to make one of those. Okay, so now we'll open this up. Now a lot of the embellishments on the inside of this I have shown in previous videos and I'll link those with the letter I above um, if you have questions on how to make those items. So here, this is a pocket from, um, I think it's called Melissa Francis, and I cut the scalloped edge off of it. I like the vellum, um, but I wanted it to be more of a slanted pocket. This is some ephemera that I've had from my mind's eye, and um, I'm gonna put the little girl's name 
here on this little card. It has some gold foiling. I'm not sure if that really shows in this video right now. And then just a piece of ephemera here. And then I started here. I used um, because this scrapbook paper from Craft Tangles is only single sided. I added, uh, I think this is the pickled raspberry distress oxide on the inside of the cover. And I laminated that. This is another paper from that same paper line. Here is a shaker card that I made. So I'll link that video of where, of how I made these shaker cards. They're a lot of fun. And I just felt that it would be texture and something fun and playful that, that she could play with. I just added a gold doily here. On this vellum, I added hearts from a stencil that's made by Craft Tangles. I'll put a photo of it here and it'll be linked in my blog post. So all I did was use some gel medium to just kind of enhance the, the look of the little hearts on the vellum. The vellum I printed on my um, inkjet printer and then I set it by just spraying some hairspray on top of it. This is one of the little cards that I made in another video with distressed foiling. So this I used some adhesive, double-sided adhesive from Craft Tangles, and I used the Craft Tangles foil. Here I created pockets for um, some tags. I just created some little rectangular cards from the paper and rounded the edges with my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I also have an embossed piece of acetate right here that says Paris. I know you probably can't see it on the video, but it's on there and it just adds a nice piece of texture that she can rub her hands on and have fun with. On this side, I used another one of those Melissa Francis envelopes and here's a tag inside of it. This is going to have one of her best friend's photos and message all on this page here. This is another one that I did with the foil. So this is another tag that has the blue foil and then I embossed it. And again, I'll show that in the video. It, it was linked earlier. Um, and then I'm just layering it with these cards and we'll have additional photos and messages on these as well. This one is another one, just a plain tag. I believe this one is from Hobby Lobby. Now this is the main insert where everyone is going to be signing and sending their messages for her. But also right here, I included a piece of acetate that has gold dots and some strips of washi tape that she can take off so that she can tape in additional photos or tags if she would like to. Again, here's another piece. It's gonna have a photo back here and a message from family and friends. This is just a little tag that I had, a piece of ephemera from me and my big ideas and a piece of gold washi tape attached to um, a piece of burlap. So here is another space. I wasn't sure if this would be enough. Um, room for everyone to write what they wanted to write. So I left this page blank as well for more signatures and photos and whatever she wants to add, along with some blank tags to add more photos and messages. This is another one of those distress tags that I made with the double-sided adhesive from Craft Tangles, as well as the Craft Tangles gold foil. I embossed that with the Tim Holtz alterations die. This is just a gold doily from Studio Calico and then some more vellum. Here's another shaker card that I made in that other video. That will be linked below if you're curious as to how to make a shaker card with die cuts inside. The sequence is also from Craft Tangles. It's really nice. They have different shapes and colors. It makes for a nice combination in the shaker cards.
And then this last page, I just included a couple more tags. This vellum piece right here on top is from, I think, Allison Kreft. It was from a package in, um, from Webster's Pages, and I just layered it on top of one of the journal cards that comes in the paper pack um, with the Craft Tangles paper. And then the ribbon for the closure. So that's my design team project this month for Craft Tangles. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment below. Let me know your questions. And if you don't want to miss any posts from me, please make sure to visit my blog below and subscribe to my newsletter. Every time I post a video or do a blog post, you'll receive an email from me. Those are the only emails you'll receive from me from that newsletter. Also in those newsletters, I link all the products that I use for these videos. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.